Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this very quick video, we're going to look at how we move forwards or backwards exactly one second. So on our timeline, which we're going to make sure we've got selected here, we are just going to hold down shift and tap equals, and then we're going to type one period, and you'll see just below our video here, it is going to move forward one second. So if we want to move backwards one second, then I can do shift and equals. I can type minus and one period and it will move backwards. So that's how we can move forward by a very specific amount of time on our timeline. So again, shift and equals, type two period, will move forwards two seconds, and shift and equals, and then minus will move forward, in this case, three period, three seconds. So we're going from 10.06 to 7.06. So if you need to move your playhead very specifically on the timeline, then this is a nice, quick way to do it. We can also use this when we're moving an edit point as well. So if I trim down my clip here, I'm going to add a second clip onto the timeline here. It doesn't really matter what it is. I'm just going to trim this down a little bit from the beginning and the end. And then if I tap the T key, which brings up my trim tool, then I can hit this edit point. And now if I type in shift plus, and type in one period, it's going to move that ahead by exactly one second. We can also use the, the comma and the period key on our keyboard to move this forwards and backwards by one frame at a time. But if you want to go backwards or move this back by exactly one second, then I can do shift equals and then negative one period, and that will move my edit point back exactly one second. So if you're looking for those specific movements on the timeline, then you can do this using the shift and equals shortcut, and then plus or minus number of seconds or frames. So for instance, if we wanted to move it by a number of frames, then we can do shift equals seven, that's gonna move it forward seven frames, or shift equals negative 17, that's gonna move it backwards 17 frames. So once you know your frame rate, then you can kind of figure out what would move forwards or backwards by half a second. So in this case, I have 30 frames per second, so shift and equals and then 15 will move me forward by half a second. Once we're done with the trim tool, I'm just gonna hit A to go back to the selection tool, and then we can kind of move back to moving around our timeline as normal. If you have any questions about this or other tips and tricks in Final Cut Pro, then please do leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.